I am very happy to report the media were way off with their pre-season prediction of a 17th place finish. <laughs> we're 15th. Project Palermo. Welcome to Project Palermo. I am your old mate DP here in the glorious DP Dome where we are off to, uh, it must be said, a decent start in Syria. Full disclosure, we did have a slight, slight issue. Uh, the game crashed on me before I could save after the last episode. So the last match you saw, which I believe was against Lazio, yes, yes it was, uh, we lost that like 4-2 last time or something, or 4-0, I think it was. 3-1 uh, was the result. I had to replay the game, but the result was exactly the same. We got spanked. We didn't have a great time, and the only goal we scored was an Oni. So technically, it was still 4-0. Anyway, everything else has gone uh, swimmingly and according to plan. No wacky shenanigans there, no saves scumming, no craziness, just so you're all aware. And the in-game editor, as always, is turned on off because we're not a pack of cheats but you can see here how things have gone we played a friendly because there was a gap after the Lazio game uh, an international break uh, we smashed them 6-0 and then at home to AC Milan that AC Milan the real one not the B team we beat them 2-0 and it was glorious Vasic and Pirozzi stepping up with goals there uh, then we went away to Bologna and we drew to all that was a bit sad Torino tore us a new one a 4-2 result there uh, away to Torino. Uh, Laboured to a 1-0 win over Brescia. We scored early through Brunori. We got on the score sheet again, finally, and managed to hold on just about. Uh, this match against Como, nil all. Very disappointing. We were absolutely toothless. Uh, and then another international break. Sitting over, we played uh, and won that 8-0. That was a great day out. Uh, I didn't watch it. The assistant manager looks after the friendlies. This game, though, was uh, a little bit disappointing. Um, so they took the... Uh, Atalanta took the lead early. We equalised. Ranocchio scored a great goal. Uh, and then they've rolled over the top of us. But one of these, it may have been the Torino game. Uh, Blin did us really dirty. Is that it? No. Anyway, there was a match where Blin got sent off. And it hurt my soul. It hurt my soul a lot. No, Dar was injured. Can't remember when it was. Bling got sent off, caused some problems, and it wasn't it wasn't great at all. Or was it Lazio? Did you see that one? I'm getting very confused. I can't keep track of all the games. Oh my goodness. No, no idea. Definitely happened. May have happened in the past. Quite possible. I dreamt it. I didn't dream it. It was a real thing. Anyway, today, none of that matters because we've got two huge games and we're probably going to be destroyed against Roma and against Inter. As discussed, I have tweaked the tactic a little bit. Not hugely. I've just dropped both midfielders back into defensive midfield positions in an effort to try and shore things up a little bit. We're also in the midst of a little bit of an injury crisis. Everybody keeps getting hurt. Chiquinho has been out for ages, about four or five weeks He's just about to get back into trading now. Uh, Bilobotch, who is just a, a rubbish player, he's here to make up numbers. He was brought up from the under-20s because he's too old for them. He's been injured. Marcel had an injury. Segre's been injured on and off consistently. He's had a couple. Uh, Salcedo had a knock. Marcel, Segre, Velukovic, Samuel Dahl have all been injured at some point. And it's made team selection difficult we also desperately need another midfielder for cover we are training Malanka and Ratnik to play as our uh, complete wing backs to help us out there and Estevez hasn't seen a lot of game time because Cecharoni had been in pretty good form although he's dropping off lately and Volpato as well has been a little bit disappointing he's had flashes of awesomeness but inconsistent I've also changed the defensive instructions a little bit. We're playing with a high line. Isn't really working, but I like playing with a high line. So that's what we're doing. We're counter pressing. We're playing on the counter when we win possession. And I've implemented a shorter passing regime to try and keep more possession. That also not really working yet. So yeah, but as things stand, we are not in the relegation zone, which I'm taking as an absolute win. The mission for this season is just to stay up. Let's not go back down to Serie B if we can avoid it. If we can survive this season, make a couple of good additions in the off season and bin off some of the players that I don't want anymore, then I think we're giving ourselves a, a good basis to build on here at Palermo in the top division of Italy in our pursuit of glory. 
which is going to take a while based on where we're at as a club. But this is a really big, hard test for us against Roma. Uh, big and hard. That's what she said. Yeah, I made a that's what she said joke, and you all heard it, and I'm not going to apologise. Now, these guys are in, and they've scored in the first two minutes, and it's been very, very disappointing. We're going to drop some encouragement on the team. These early goals have been a problem. Our defenders, uh, Cecharoni and Mercandali, have been playing really well together. They've got a little line and everything, but teams are just passing through us. When we attack, though, and we can get a little bit of momentum going, we have looked good and we have looked dangerous, as evidenced by Vasic there, scoring. First goal of the episode. Let's have a two for Vasic. Lovely stuff. That brings me much, much joy. Well worked goal. Gopato plays it back there to Perozzi, finds Ranokia to Blin, plays it over to Vasic, hits it first time at the near post. Keeper had no chance. We're back on level terms away to Roma. I'm all for it. Carry on, gentlemen, as you were. This thing too, we're consistently being beaten to the, the second chance balls and whatnot, which vexes me greatly. Uh, I thought that was going to be. <laughs> But they've headed wide. And I'm like a big crowd for only 60,000 fans. Wow. Possession's pretty level. We're equal on shots. Uh, we're not anymore. Now we're winning on shots. So we can take a moral victory from this one. We've got the ball here. Ranaki has picked up a yellow card, which is a concern. Yellow cards have been a problem, the discipline, and I think it just comes down to a, really, a lack of quality in the squad. We've got a team full of Serie B players. That is a very cheeky goal from Saidi. It's an own goal, actually. It's taken another deflection. I think he's been robbed, and he deserved to have that credited. Not the first time we have seen that sort of thing happen here in Italy, but they really just didn't deal with him. I'm not sure how that's an own goal because it doesn't look like this sour guy got a touch on it. But he did. It's wrong-footed the keeper, apparently. And we're now 2-1 up against Roma after a very, very rough start. We've put some pressure on and it's paying dividends. And I like it. I'm excited to get Chiquinho back in the team. But this Emil Cide, he's looked very good. Uh, he scored a few goals. That's poor. That's just poor defending right there, leaving him unmarked at the back post. I was just about to big up Saidi there, and the defence is just in all sorts. Who's this? Don't be Saidi. Merkindal, our centre back. He's got to do better than that. He's just got to. De Chiara now has picked up a knock. As I said, little bit of an injury crisis. And it's causing us some issues. It means I haven't been able to play a, a settled starting 11, get any kind of rotation going, get fitness into other players because they're constantly on the sidelines. And it's very, very frustrating. But this is a lot more pleasant on the attack. Big wide ball out to Volpato. He plays it into Blin and he blazes wide. Way too much chilli sauce on that shot. Just needed to place it. But it's 2-2. I'll take a point away at Roma. Well done, gentlemen. I'm, overall, I'm pretty happy with how things are going. I just need De Chiara to hang on for five, ten minutes. We'll look to make a change in midfield, change the left back, and get Dull back in, who's on his way back from injury. Saidi, who I was talking up, just hasn't shown up today. And that's annoying. <laughs> Every time I talk about someone, they just tank. So, De Chiara's going to come off. Samuel Dahl is going to come on for him. Uh, so he hasn't had the mustard today, so Salcedo can come on in his place, uh, which hopefully will get a bit more service out to Brunori. He should be playing as a complete forward, so I'm not quite sure what's happened there. Everything else is looking good, although Cecharoni's been disappointing at centre-back, so I might throw Nikolai or Ratnik. Ratnik. Let's get Ratnik some game time. One of the youngsters. We need to play them. We need to start trusting them to get the job done. Good opportunity. There's no pressure here at Roma to secure a victory. It'd be awesome, don't get me wrong. But they're a much better team. They're an established Serie A squad. This is our first season up here for a dog's age. And that, again, just... Mm, just no. Just, just no. No. Maybe it's the high line. And we should be playing a mid-block, but we were playing a mid-block and we were getting absolutely battered. So I'm just trying to establish this high line, get some familiarity into the lads. I think they'll have done better there. Or is it just the defenders and lack of communication? 
It's unclear. No pressure on the boys. We need to make a couple of changes. We've got some very tired bodies now. Our blend's going to come off. We'll throw Segre on. Uh, we've got one more change we can make. It probably needs to happen in the attack. But Ranakia is spent as well. We could throw uh, Velikowicz, but then we've got Vasic and Volpato who aren't really getting it done. We'll throw Marsal on for the last few minutes. Can you play over here? Of course you can. What about on the left? You better over there? Nope. Back on that side. What if we swap you guys over? Like that? Is that more to you? No. All right. As you were. <laughs> Fair enough. Confirm those changes and off we go. Unpause the game, GP. Works. Heat's better. 3-2 result. Do we go attacking? Do we just try to... Yeah, screw it. In for a penny, in for a pound. What's the point in sitting back when we're chasing the game? Let's encourage the lads. Let's go very attacking. Concede another one. Why not? We've still got Tammy Abraham knocking about the place. That just seems unfair. He's a bit of a cheat code in FM. And a decent showing. We were in with a shout, but we've coughed it up late. It was a decent effort. But we really struggle in attack in those sorts of games. And now we've got a really quick turnaround to go and play Inter, which is another tough, tough game. The Chiara's out, so at least Dahl's back in form at the right time. But I mean, Roma are third in the league. We're all the way down in 16th. Inter a second, so expect more of the same. But we'll be back in a second and see how we do against Inter. Just before we go and play Inter, I think we're at home for this one. We'll check it out in a second. Uh, Inter have just beaten Genoa 7-1. 7-1. Prepare for some pain. Just about ready to kick off here against Inter at home at our glorious mountain-surrounded stadium. And the injury woes just keep on coming. Uh, we're rotating a little bit for this one. Valparto's been disappointing. Uh, his form's not been great. So Marcelo's going to come in for him, even though he's not fully fit. And Moscone's going to come in as a striker because Brunor has been terrible. And he's picked up a knock. So he doesn't come back to full training for a couple of days. Dahl, not fully fit. Falukovic, not fully fit. Marcelo, not fully fit. Bilobach, who cares? Uh, Brunori injured. Chiquinho injured. But he'll be back uh, in four days, which probably still won't have him back in time for the Juventus game. We play Juventus after this one. Morale is a little bit down. Our dynamics are not fantastic. Team cohesion is good. Club atmosphere is down because we're losing games. Managerial support is taking a hit because my tactic's not working and we should probably change it. And now they want me to change all of this back to how it was before because I assume players are fit again. I'm not inclined to, to be honest. I will put Valpada back and playing... Uh, Playing Ratnik is possibly insane because he's not really ready and he's not fully fit. We've got to get some game time into Malanka as well. We've got to get these lads fit. So we've got to play him off the bench. We need to change the fence up during this match. I suspect we're probably going to need to because of uh, fitness and performance and match ratings. We're going to get battered. Let's go and take our medicine against Inter. We'll just call them Inter or Inter Nazionale. Is that what they're called? I know I'm not supposed to call them into, say it quietly. Apparently that's a no-no. I don't know why. I could Google it. I'm not going to. It's not how we operate. Uh, have faith in everybody to get the job done. Let's go pick up an unlikely three points like we did earlier in the season against what's their face. Kick it off. And we're into the match. And it looked like Inter were going to have a highlight from the start. But for once, we haven't conceded in the first two minutes. Progress has been made. We're improving everybody. Outstanding. We have had bog all possession so far. Inter had 70% of the ball. We've got the ball here and they're pressing us very, very high. What do we do to take advantage of that? If you've got any ideas for tactics or things that might help stop the bleeding at the moment and help us potentially pick up some points from these much bigger clubs. I mean, to be fair, we're playing some of the biggest clubs in Europe at the moment between Roma, Inter, Lazio, Juve coming up. We beat Milan though, so that was nice. But yeah, as I was saying, if you've got any ideas on how to stop the rock, drop them in the comments. Leave a like and hit the subscribe button too so you don't miss an episode. And also, don't forget, you can jump on over to Twitch and see me actually succeed at Football Manager with Deadpool FC. We've just gone up to the National League North 
uh, from all the way down in tier 10. Uh, four promotions in four seasons. We're having a lovely time, but now we've got uh, even less money than we had before and we started with nothing and uh, our squad's trash. So it's going to be fun times. Now we're down. That's taken 20 minutes. Uh, questions of offside, hopefully. I don't think so. I think everybody was playing him on. Yeah, that guy's been awarded. And I don't really want to watch a replay, but I guess you lot want to see it and see how it's get better. Checker only got his boot in there, and there's really no excuse for this going in. Fruitdorf should have done better. He did get a hand to it. He's unlucky, actually. That's unfair on him. He's tipped it. It's hit the post. Maybe a firmer wrist. That's what she said. But now, ah, what are you going to do? No pressure, lads. Just press on. We're still getting absolutely rolled for possession here. Maybe we just play a higher line and try to really hand the issue. Get them super compact. Make it more difficult for them to, to play out. It's the worst that can happen. Let's give it a shot. Much higher line. Higher press. Let's go. And just try to make life more difficult for them. And it really hasn't had the desired effect at all. Um, if we're not creative enough, we're not positive enough. Uh, it weren't that bad. Go and prove it. Make a difference. Blah, 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 blah. Moscone hasn't exactly lit my fire. Neither is Salcedo today. Volpato, again, awful. Perotti is shattered. So early changes. We talked about changing the defense. We're going to do it right now. Estevez is going to come on. He's not fully fit. What does it matter at this point? Volpato can come off because, yep, it's not getting it done. Vasic is going to come on and we'll get... Uh, Lanka or Ratnik, I'm just going to change the centre backs. We're going to lose anyway, so why not? Why not? Malenka, what do you want to do down there? That's all you can do. That's fine. Are you a lefty or a righty? You're right footed. I should probably play on the right side, but I suspect Ratnik is also right footed. So it doesn't really matter. A very makeshift defence. We're making all our changes in the 50th minute. I can't throw Benori on anyway, so we're kind of stuck. Fine by me. Let's go and see how bad it can get. Just getting some game time into some of the lads. That's all we can do. We could probably get back into it, but I, mm, mm, I don't think Moscone's the man to dig us out of this kind of hole. He's more a come on with 20 minutes to go and blast consolation goal kind of player, I suspect. But losing Brunori through injury is really our main goal scoring threat unless the wingers are firing and they've just not been. But maybe we can cook up a chance here, building from the back. Easy pass out to Malenka from Fruto up to Dahl now to Saidi, back to Malenka, launches it long, just to pass it to Winter. It's like, you know what, we've had enough of the ball, you guys take it. Sharing's caring, and all that. Seems a bit silly. We should probably hold on to possession. Just way we passes seem to be costing us. We've seen it a couple of times this episode, just aimless balls forward. We need to be a bit more direct. And that's a foul, Dar's got himself sent off. Fantastic. Inexperienced, under pressure, not fully fit, and it's just a, a shocking mistake, really. Now what do we do? What the hell do we do now? Uh, I need a left back. I don't have one, and we've got no changes we can make. So I guess we'll do this. Play you out there, maybe. No, Ratnik, maybe. No, Estevez, maybe. No, none of that really helps us. Estevez is going to do it, though. And you guys can play that way around. Or is it better this way? It doesn't matter. You can't really do either. So let's do that because you're both learning to play out there. So Gray and Vasic now are going to have to be the midfield on their own. Swap them around. Can you even play central midfield? Not really. Masao can though. He's injured, but he's going to have to do it. What You play central midfield, don't you? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Just be a roaming playmaker. Just run around and make a nuisance of yourself, sir. Uh, and let's change him to, we'll just leave him as a winger, but yeah, we'll go on support for both of these guys. And so we'll swap them over because Sadie can play on the right-hand side, I believe. Yeah, much better. Uh, and just put you on support as well. And that's going to have to do. Red card's disappointing. But it was always in the cars. Probably concede here. No, Fruitville's made a save, everyone. Wowzers. Do we go attacking? I warned you we were going to get battered. We're going to lose two uh, two matches in an episode. 
and it's disappointing, but to be expected. Again, we're playing very good teams early in the season, which I guess will give us an opportunity to gauge how far we've, we've come in the, the second half after Christmas. But right now, we've got some work to do. Didn't get all the players I wanted. I'm definitely not happy with the, the squad as it stands because of registration issues and everything else. Uh, that's a good challenge from Ratnik. I think that's poor again. Latoro Martin is scoring with an assist from Raheem Sterling. They're just, they're just rebuilding the Premier League All-Star team over here. Let's go attacking and try to make something happen. We'll probably concede another one. The players are exhausted, which doesn't help our cause. We played a makeshift, uh, makeshift, makeshift defence, deliberately so, just to try and get some game time into the lads. And we're about to concede again. No, good save from Fuchs. Fuchs is a really good goalkeeper. It's a shame the defence in front of him is absolute pants. Because with a stronger defence, we'd have a shot in games like this. Here's a chance. Can we get a consolation goal at least? Let's make something happen. Moscone's on a 5.9, which is an absolute disgrace. And makes me quite upset. Nothing worse than seeing a striker in the red, other than multiple red cards in a match. Which we could be on for. Segre's on a yellow. There he is, getting his boot in, trying to do some damage. Can we just be a bit more careful with the passing, please? Here's Milanka now, running down the right as our makeshift complete wing back. Ball in, Vasic is there, and Vasic has scored and pulled one back. An unlikely goal, out of nowhere. It's going nowhere to be seen in the action. Let's just... I don't even know what to do to you. I do. I'm going to smack him around the head and tell him to do something useful. But uh, let's encourage the boys for the last couple of minutes. If we get an equaliser, that would be brilliant. But it's really not likely given the fitness levels. Nearly everybody's in the red. And I suspect it's far more likely uh, that Inter are going to go and hit us with a third here in the dying stages of the match. Unless... This keeper screws up his pass. No, he finds the open man. That's a bit sad. And they've just passed around us and we've been completely outclassed today. And that's going to happen. It's going to happen. Not over with the same. Question of offside. Disallow the goal referee to be horribly unfair. We fought valiantly. Hey! That's going to minimise the damage to Dynamics. That we're only a goal off the pace against Inter. It's not a disaster. We'll have another look at this. Yeah, he was miles off, so we don't need to see that again. It's disappointing, for sure. Unlucky. Um, I tell you what, though. Yeah, you can't get sent off in a match like that. Moscone. Awful. Anyone else on a 5.9? No, not really. So there's work to do. And I'm thinking... I'm, my sales injured again. This is what I'm talking about. And now Samuel Dahl is banned for a match. So no idea what we're going to do there other than De Chiara is going to have to come in. Estevez is going to have to come in for Perotti. who can't play. Take them out of the squad because we just have to take everybody out of the squad all the time. Blin's going to come in for Velekovic. And that's about all we can do. We'll freshen things up in the midfield for the next game. Uh, which you won't be seeing. I think what I'm leaning towards, and we need the personnel to do it, so I can't really make this change until January when we can hopefully move some players out and bring some new ones in. A three-man midfield. Uh, move these guys forward in the centre, play defensive mid, drop the attacking midfielder because it hasn't been super effective for us this season and just get more bodies in the centre of the park because that's where... We're falling down, and I do not care for it. I guess one of the other things we could do is look at moving someone back uh, here and play the wingers a little bit deeper, although Vopate really can't do that. But there's other options available. We'll see how we go, but I would like to clog up this midfield a little bit more. I'll experiment, and when we come back, so you can check in on your old mate DP and how things are going, we might aim to have a bit of a happier time. Let's have a look at, I tell you what, Fiorentina have been fantastic this season. Uh, they've been scoring a lot of goals and Hellas Verona have been terrible. So we could have a nice little 
mixed bag there of hopefully massive win and then just get absolutely spanked. And then we can come back after the transfer window and start measuring if we've made any kind of progress at all. I think that's a good plan. If you agree, let me know down in the comments. But for now, until next time, I shall see you next time. Say hi to your mum for me and be good. If you can't be good, don't get caught. Don't do it.